All right, so coming into the month of April, Cancer, uh, we have the Nine of Wands for what is most important to you, what your objective is. Now, the Nine of Wands is a fire energy, a strong fire energy. And so it tells me that you have been on some type of journey um, and or you're you're still on this journey, actually. I feel that you're still on this journey. It could be a move. It could be a travel. It could be an emotional journey. It could be a mental journey, but it's been long. It's been a long road. It's been taxing. In fact, at this point, you might feel quite exhausted um, in need of a break, in need of a rest, in need of recuperation. And it's, it's honestly, it's understandably so because... This has not been for the faint hearted. You've worked really hard to get to this point. You put in a lot of energy, a lot of effort uh, because it's a fire energy. You've taken a lot of action. You've taken a lot of steps, literally, figuratively, in your own heart, in your own mind. Maybe someone else, it, they don't understand what a big journey this has been for you, but no one kind of knows, knows their own internal feelings more than you. And you know for yourself that this has been taxing. And I do feel that for some of you, other people aren't understanding the depth of this situation for you. They don't realize your sensitivity. They don't realize how much you've really pushed yourself, how much you've really stressed yourself. And, you know, just, just nurture yourself in that and know that, you know, if you know that you've worked your tail off, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks because you have made this journey. You have stepped out into new paths, new territories, you've taken that chance and that risk. And, and I feel that, you know, the universe kind of has us go, go, go. And, and then there's a time and a period when we have to pause and we have to step back and we have to reflect. And so because there's some water going on underneath the surface here, I feel that maybe that's where the universe has you. Maybe that's what you intuitively know that you've done a lot of the action, whatever this is for you. And now is a time for you to kind of step back, pause and reflect. And, and you need to, because you're tired and you're weary in some way. And this can come through small setbacks, like maybe things that you had, you know, unexpected kind of like little things are just slowing the progress. You know, you'd, you'd really like to complete whatever this issue is, but uh, the universe is kind of throwing little things in there so that it forces you to kind of pause and to reflect and to wait. This is encouraging though, Cancer. I don't want you to think that all of your hard work is in vain, even if it feels that way at the moment. This is a card that success is closer than you think, and you might have to dig a little bit deeper, you know, to that untapped inner resources, prayer, meditation, and, and find a little bit more strength to push through to get to your goals. But this is, this is a beautiful card because you've been through some battles. You've been through some battles. You have stressed. You have grown. You may feel a little wounded, a little sensitive, and, and other people may not understand, but this is a time for you to nurture and take care of yourself and to reflect on your path and your journey and what is best for you going forward. What you're valuing and identifying with is the two of wands. So you actually have quite a bit of fire energy going on in your chart. You could seriously be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or someone that is kind of fiery. And once again, this could just be your own emotions that maybe, you know, you've been a little fiery yourself. Now with the two of wands, this is tapping into this nine of wands energy here. This is kind of that last final push that you're having to face and having to deal with. I do feel that there is a sense, this is a card of kind of restlessness because whatever this battle has been for you, whatever this challenge has been, you know, you're very intuitive, Cancer. Like you sense what's below the surface. You sense what is behind, you know, the wall. You know there's something there. And so here you are. You're sensing kind of, I mean, it's a little ominous. It's kind of a dark figure. There is some darkness that you're sensing. Now, this could be in you. It could be in a partner. It could be in a situation. It could be in uh, pursuit of your goals. But you, you see this energy, you sense it, you feel it. And that's one of your best gifts, Cancer, is that you are so intuitive. And the challenge here is, is not being too nervous with this energy because, of course, it can make anyone nervous, like, get me out of here. So there is a feeling here of restlessness, 
um, you know, a feeling a little uncomfortable. And that could just be because you are so battle fatigued from whatever this journey has been. So I feel like you're at this place where you're going to understand and realize what this is and what it's going to take to get to where you want to go. So you're kind of sizing up the situation. You're sizing up the person. You're sizing up the obstacle. You're sizing up maybe your own internal thought processes. And you understand that, you know, those who want to accomplish big things at times, sacrifice, big sacrifices are needed. And I think that you're going to realize that there's some, there's some inner work to do. Something needs to change. Something radical might need to change, especially with the two. We're faced with choices. We're faced with this decisions. There's two possibilities. There's two different ways you can go. What's great, though, about this cancer is that there, there's a lot of potential for you. Whatever you're pursuing, whatever the situation is, there's huge potential and it's just a matter of finding out what is either holding you back or the person back or the situation back. What is that thing that's kind of looming? And sometimes we just have to take a wait and see. We have to pause. We have to reflect. We can't do anything. It's outside of our control. So that's kind of what I feel like you're dealing with here. Okay, possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. We have the queen of pentacles. So... This to me is a very strong career woman. So for some of you, you know, you're maybe doubting a career choice that you've made or doubting if that's the best fit for you. Maybe some of you, you know, want to stay home, be with a family, um, career. And cause this woman here is very, I'd say she's very unemotional. She's just pure business. She kind of denies her feelings to kind of get ahead in the world. And maybe this is something you're struggling with cancer. Maybe you're trying to be ambitious and also still honor your feelings. So for some of you, I'm getting that, you know, the challenge here is going to be to not sacrifice yourself for a job or a business or to gain power. Because that's the temptation here is that, yes, you might get ahead financially or get ahead with someone based upon an unemotional response. But in the long run, I feel that that is not going to satisfy you, that you have to honor your needs at the same time. It could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn female, a boss, a friend that, you know, you might struggle with or having some type of argument or clash with. But the biggest thing that's sticking out to me is not sacrificing your emotions to gain power in a situation whether that's business, personal relationship to honor your, to honor that you are a water sign, that you are an emotional sign. And obviously we don't want to just wear our heart on our sleeves at all times, you know, with our water energy, but you have to honor and be true to your emotions as well. And, and to nurture yourself as well. So finding that balance. Okay. So the strategy for you to take the plans to be made for April, we actually have the page of wands, which is represented by the foreigner. So I feel like cancer, the best thing for you would be just to take a little break, take a little vacay, a little vacation. This card can be representative of, you know, a short trip, a day trip, a weekend trip to get away somewhere different. He's kind of in this, you know, exotic place with people that he doesn't know. This could be kind of reaching out to people outside of your family, your close unit, unit, kind of maybe connecting with a different circle of friends, a different group of people, different ethnicity, kind of just getting out of your own space, your own bubble, just getting like a fresh perspective. It is definitely a fire energy. So this is you taking action, doing something, not sitting by the sidelines and just waiting for something to happen to you. This is about you getting out and about and um, you know, having that positive faith and optimism and, and belief and just kind of stepping out into the unknown. I also feel that, you know, messages coming to you whenever you have a page, messages are going to be important for you this month. They're either coming or going and they're coming quickly. You could be coming in, you know, by the day or by the week. It could be a phone call. It could be a letter. It could be an email. It could be a text. But these are going to come in very quickly, and I feel that this is a positive thing. So for you, it might be a form of communication, communicating more with those around you, whether that's abroad or just people in your life, having new conversations. But communication and news, 
is definitely going to get your attention and it could be outside the box. It could be exciting, unpredictable, um, different, but it's definitely going to catch your attention. Okay, Cancer, the right attitude to have towards yourself and others. We have the wheel of life or the wheel of fortune. This is remembering that you are the author and the creator of your destiny and your fate. Seeing yourself not as a victim, but as a victor. Seeing yourself as the artist, that you are painting this beautiful masterpiece of your life. And I think at times when you're an empath or you're sensitive and you care so much about other people, it's, you know, happiness a lot of times revolves around them and what they're doing and what they're feeling. And this is a reminder, Cancer, that, you know what, you have control. What matters is what you choose. You know, you are a cardinal sign, meaning you take action. You're the initiator. You're the leader. Be the leader in your own life, in your own path reevaluate all the areas of your life and consciously decide where you want to put your energy. And this can also apply to people, you know, relationships. If someone or something is not serving your highest good and you're just not feeling peace about it, you know, decide, choose where you want to put your energy and your time and your efforts. That there's seasons and there's times and there's ebbs and there's flows. And this too shall pass, whatever this is. That one day could be like rainy and stormy and the next day could be beautiful, sunny with like a rainbow, you know, it's like each day is unique. And just to kind of work with your own intentions while being sensitive to the energy of the universe and the times and the seasons of the universe. And I feel like just working with that, you're going to create something amazing in your life and in your relationships this month. All right. So at the end of the month, the outcome is the magician card. So this is the sign of traditionally Virgo or Gemini. And I think what's going to happen is as you reflect, take time, gain awareness, take a break, you're going to come to this place of, okay, now I'm going to create, I'm going to start planning. I'm going to start creating a strategy. And I feel like you're going to get a new sense of inspiration and you're going to have these new inspired actions that you're going to start taking that are going to get you closer to your dreams and your goals. I feel also that this energy is very uh, flexible. It's very adaptable. It's not set in stone. And you realize, you know that you have a little bit more ways to go. You know that you're going to need to take another push. And so because of that, mastery of your skills and dedication to your dreams is what is going to get you to your, your hopes and your goals. I feel that you're going to continue to fine tune your abilities and skills. And this is the number one. So that makes me happy because this is the card. One is the card of leadership and starting new projects and, you know, being the go-getter and the pioneer. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. It's a sign that you're heading in the right direction, cancer, and that you're being the leader that you're supposed to be in whatever area it is of your life. So definitely a little weary starting out, but you're only going to get stronger as the month goes on. And my, my thoughts here is just to honor your sensitivities and find the balance and listen to God, intuition, meditation. And I think you're just going to create some incredible things for yourself and for those around you. So let's go ahead and get started with your love reading. Okay, Cancer, the first card here is going to represent your expectations, hopes, and fears for love in the month of April. The second card is going to represent the obstacle or the challenge to overcome. And the third card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. All right, Cancer, so as far as expectations, hopes, fears for love, we do have the Eight of Swords, and it is in the reverse. So that's actually a good thing. Now, obviously, because it's a sword, you could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, a Libra. It could also be your own thought processes about love, about romance, about some issue that you've been thinking on. And with the eight of swords in reverse, you know, you're at this place now where you just want to be free. 
You just want to be free from emotional pain, negativity, criticism, uh, gossip, whatever this swords, whatever these swords have been for you in love, you're done with it. You're like, I'm, I'm ready to make my escape. You can see here, there's someone that was kind of behind this cage, prison cell, whatever you want to call it, brick wall. And now you're going to start breaking free from each one of these swords. This is good. Um, I feel that you're going to release yourself, whatever this looks like. You're going to release yourself, whether this is you're in a relationship or it's just your own internal thoughts. Difficulties are going to start letting up for you. Pressures are going to start coming off. And this kind of correlates to the law of attraction reading where it's been a nine of wands. It's been intense battles. And this could even be in friendships. It could be in family. I mean, love and romance. Love can relate to a lot of different relationships. I also feel that, you know, you're going to start looking more for options. You're going to start thinking about what are the solutions to these problems? Like, let's stop dwelling on the issue. Like, we've gone over this a thousand times and it's not getting us anywhere. In fact, we're just getting more ticked off. So now let's come up with solutions. Let's look at possibilities. Let's stop thinking in a limited way. Um, let's open up our minds, open up our thought processes. And this is good. So doors are going to start opening because you're changing your thoughts. You're opening your, your mind up. Um, you're also looking for a way forward. Now you, you or your loved one could be facing the truth. Maybe it's, it was easier to deny something or easier to avoid it altogether. It was too painful. No one wanted to really like talk about it, but now you're like, you know what? This isn't helping the situation. We need to face the music. We need to face the facts. Someone could be coming clean to you. Maybe you're coming clean to someone else. You're finally opening up about an issue that needed to be talked about. Also, what I like about this card cancer is you're not going to put up with crap. Okay. And some people can take kindness for weakness and you're not going to allow that anymore. If someone has been disrespectful or abusive, you know, you're going to stand up for yourself. You're not afraid, you know, of opposition. You're not going to take criticism any longer. And if you need to seek help, you're not going to be too proud to do that. If your partner needs to seek help, hopefully they'll do that as well. Uh, the eight of swords in reverse can talk about, you know, doing self-help, reading books, going to counseling. But overall, I feel that whatever has been troubling you mentally or in relationships, it's, it's like the turn, it's starting to shift, you know, things are starting to get more clear. You're starting to use a more logic in your life and in your relationships. And you are hoping that you and your partner can put forth that mental effort to clear up all these swords, to clear up all these issues, or if you're on your own. So I don't know if this is necessarily going to be a quick fix. In fact, I don't think it's going to be a quick fix, but I do feel like you're going to start feeling like the pressure's coming off, that the tensions are easing, that you're starting to see some opportunities and hope and new possibilities. So that's, that's all you can ask for. Okay. So the obstacle or the challenge to overcome is the eight of pentacles. Interesting. We have two eights here. Now, if this is a challenge, this is, this is really correlating to work and this could be in many different ways, right? It could be career. So your partner is maybe becoming a workaholic and it's causing friction in the relationship. Maybe you are the workaholic and it's like not wanting to deal with the issue. So it could be a career or a business or just like the demands of your lifestyle that are, you're trying to find that balance. It can also be a partner that is lazy or someone that's being lazy about it. And just doesn't care. It's just like, oh, whatever. You do all the work. Maybe you're having to shoulder all the work. Whatever this is, whatever the issue is, cancer in your relationships or within yourself, the eight of pentacles in the upright is about doing those painstakingly tedious details that lead to results. And based on the law of attraction reading, you might be tired. Like maybe you've given so much to this person. Maybe you've given so much to this relationship. Maybe you've just given so much you feel like in love and you're just exhausted. And so having the energy and the resources to keep working and working and working is just exhausting. So the biggest struggle to overcome here is, is someone not really being committed to this process. And we all know that true love and genuine love and connection, it's not just handed to you. You know, it's, it's, it's a process. And I feel that every person that we meet in life, 
we're growing with. And it's not always easy. And it takes work to make something of value. And so there could just be a temptation here of just being tired or fatigued or just not wanting to do the type of work that it's going to take to make it work. And it could feel repetitive or boring. You know, maybe you want more excitement. You know, you're reading, you definitely had a lot of fire. It's like, maybe it's just like the same old, same old, and you're ready for something different. And of course, since it's a um, pentacle, it could be money, finances, money issues. Someone's spending too much. Someone's not saving money. Um, wanting to get, you know, like a get rich quick scheme or something like that. And it's just, it's like a quick shortcut. And it, that really generally, you kind of get what you pay for, you know, or we get what we put into whatever the situation is. Of course, since it's an earth sign, it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that you're dealing with as well. And obviously whatever these swords are, being half-assed or not finishing the job is only going to lead to problems. So really doing the work, even if it just feels like if you're really wanting the situation or this person. Okay, so by the end of the month, we do have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords, the, the challenge here, someone, either you or someone in a relationship may be running away, running away from something. It may just be all those swords, you know, the temptation is just to kind of run away from problems. It also could be a feeling of just wanting to be on your own for a while. This is kind of a card of independence, wanting to just go it alone, be a lone wolf, even if you're in a relationship. Someone could be avoiding their obligations, avoiding responsibility, and taking the easy way out. There's, there's a lot that you have, you and your partner have to deal with here. Um, and so hiding from it sometimes feels easier in the short term. Also, just maybe procrastinating. Maybe it's just been so much and so intense that it's just like, you know, let's just distract ourselves instead and we'll deal with these issues later. I do feel cancer that someone is kind of, it could be you as well. It could be you or the other person is keeping one or the other at arm's length. There's kind of a avoiding getting too close to someone. And we do have to talk about the seven of swords. Um, someone could be deceiving one, one or the other, covering their tracks, doing something behind the scenes and even being two faced. So if you're doing dealing with an air sign, that's a real possibility. And there's, there's just, there's a lot of secrets that are going on here for some of you that are not being revealed. And they're being hidden. And the Seven of Swords can talk about that. That there's like a, a secret that, that someone's trying to hide from you. Or you're trying to hide from them. There is kind of an energy of separation from someone by the end of the month. And if this is you, because of the pain from the past, because of how much hard work and effort it's going to take, it could be you that's running from commitment, responsibility, hard work, and love. Maybe you, by the end of the month, is procrastinating and just not wanting to deal with problems because it's overwhelming. So sometimes you just have to face these issues head on, like they're not going to get any better. And the best thing you can do is to be kind of truthful with your situation and those involved to kind of prevent this if this is resonating with you.